Hey guys, a little bit of a different video today. Today we're going to be checking out my area of Bogota. It's called Kennedy. It's in the south. It's not your regular place where you find all the gringos and the expats. Uh, but I've been calling it home for about six, seven years now. And uh, today I just want to take you around. It's a bank holiday Monday. So it's a holiday. It's going to be quite quiet. Uh, a lot of shops are going to be closed, but I'll show you the sites. It's got a little bit of a history to it. And uh, hopefully I'll show you something new about Bogota that you didn't know before. So join me. I'm at the heart of Kennedy. This is where it all started. This house here. Well, let me spin the camera around. This house here is a typical Kennedy house. It was one of the first ones that was built here. And it has a little plaque outside. And it basically means that it was inaugurated, basically JF Kennedy, JF Kennedy visited December the 17th 1961 and basically inaugurated this as being the, the first house here in Kennedy. Uh, they put this plaque up here later on to commemorate 25 years but uh, basically it's a historic building it looks it looks really quite dilapidated uh, there's a sign in the window saying it's for for sale so there's a number if anyone wants to buy this house Maybe there's a Kennedy fan somewhere in the US. But uh, this is basically what it comprised of. A single floor. Uh, had, everyone had a garden, a front garden, although they concreted over it. Um, but yeah, it would have a bathroom in there, living room, bedrooms. And many people in this neighborhood, uh, a lot of them have been pulled down. If I just cross this road, see these are the other houses here. There's another one from the same era. I don't know if you can see it. A little floor straight ahead. I'm gonna try and zoom in on it. That house there in the center of the frame. That's from the same period. Everyone else has either built on top of their house, made it one, two, three floors, pulled it down and built a new one. But this is basically the original housing stock. There you have it, a little piece of history that I don't think you'll find anywhere else on the internet. Kennedy was here, 1961. This is the scene here, uh, just a little sporadic one. The lady there from the back of the truck, she's selling tamales. This neighbor here basically came out of his house, stopped there and he bought some fresh tamales. Tamales is in uh, some food, some rice, potatoes, pumpkin, uh, different regions of Colombia have different recipes. And they wrap it in a, in a plantain leaf, a banana leaf, and you basically steam it, open it up, and you eat it straight from the leaf.
So yeah, this is uh, Las Banderas. It's a transmillennial stop here. Over here, you got the feeder buses that bring people to the transmillennial station from all over Kennedy. Uh, if you want to be sly, you can sneak in. You see where that man is down there going around the back of the bus. You can sneak in and uh, get onto the transmillennial network for free. And basically, once you're in here, you can go anywhere you want in Bogota. And uh, the name comes from Las Banderas, the flags, which is this site over here. It's all those flagpoles. I'm going to go down there now, actually. We'll have a little chat about that. But yeah, that's what it's named after. And we're right down, almost at the extreme southwest of Bogota. Okay guys, here I am. Las Banderas, it's a massive, massive uh, roundabout here and it sort of forms a focal point in the way of Kennedy, southwest of Bogota. And I've got a little bit of a story here. Well, anyway, it's called Las Banderas because of all these flagpoles. And uh, originally it was envisaged that they would have flagpoles of all the Latin American countries on it, and maybe a few others some reason though they stopped they stopped uh, putting the flagpoles the flags up the flagpoles and uh, it sort of fell into a bit of a disrepair but it's looking quite nice now beautiful little garden the figurines those uh, lovely ladies um, they used to be all graffitied up it used to look really bad here but um, the mayor the mayor's office has uh, recently just uh, spruced it up. It's looking real nice now. There's not many people here, some park benches down there. And just straight ahead, that, <coughs> that is the Las Banderas Transmillennial Station. It's easy to get here. The main central Kennedy is, is off in that direction. That's where I live. And uh, this direction is going towards the city center of Bogota. But yeah, let's talk a little bit about history. Don't want to make this too long. Uh, here, where I'm standing, is actually the spot of a um, air traffic control tower. And stretching off along this <coughs> along this road, sorry about my voice, hay fever or something. Straight ahead and uh, on this road, going in that direction and then in the direction behind me kind of here off to the side was the runway and that was the main Bogota airport probably up until about the 50s until they moved it to its present location and the airport is now called El Dorado as you can see some planes taking off far away center of frame just going behind that flagpole anyway this uh, so here this used to be the airport and the reason they moved it is, is they wanted to use this land it was a very flat land they wanted to use this for housing probably to get people out of the city center and bring them out into some nice country area and uh, it used to be called techo for a roof because they used to put roofs over people's heads and later on it got uh, called Kennedy because uh, J.F. Kennedy visited the area and he liked the idea of the social housing and uh, he actually put some US money towards it to build more social housing. Check it out. We've got a plane there. So yeah. You like the idea of the social housing? So he committed US federal funds, maybe in as foreign aid, to develop this whole district into a massive place of social housing. And it sort of took his name. There's some old sort of houses still dotted around the neighborhood that you can find. Uh, they look quite simple, quite straightforward, serve their purpose. 
and he inaugurated one of them. I'll put that in this video somewhere. But there you have it. Las Banderas in Kennedy, Southwest Bogota. This is my neighborhood. Guys, there you have it. That's my little stroll around my neighborhood here in southwest Bogota, Kennedy Central. It's uh, a very nice area, although I wouldn't recommend it if you're here on the, in Bogota for a week or so. Don't bother coming on down here. There's tons and tons of neighborhoods that are very similar. Having said that, if you're living here and you're an English speaker, maybe from the US or Europe or somewhere, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll be happy to meet up with you guys. Over in that direction, uh, you got Soacha. It's uh, got to look over your shoulder every now and then. Uh, you've got your. Uh, it's a bit of talk of some insurrection here over in that direction. Like uh, you've got a bit of troubles with some FARC cells and so on. But generally, in my area, Kennedy Central, it's all safe. There's other areas. Kennedy's a big place. There's some other parts of this neighborhood of Kennedy that are a bit dangerous. I wouldn't really go there in the night. But having said that, I've been walking around Kennedy Central all morning with expensive camera equipment and a gimbal and I've had no problems. So there you have it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out the other stuff. I've got some neat playlists. I do some regular commentary on uh, life here in Colombia. So check them out and subscribe and much love. Oh, 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 oh,